there! My name's Eliza Halpern, I've had four cups of coffee today, and I'm about to watch Emily in Paris, or Emily in Paris. Now, I know absolutely nothing about this show other than the fact that it's about an American girl who goes to Paris, and that girl is played by Lily Collins, who I just learned is Phil Collins' daughter. That blew my mind. Alright, let's get into it, mon cheris. Alright, here we go. Emily in Paris. In Netflix original series. I don't know what accent that was. It wasn't French. Okay, so it starts in Chicago. 41 minutes. 18 seconds faster than yet. Alright, she runs. I already don't relate. <laughs> Good effort. This Gilbert Group expands international portfolio with acquisition of French luxury marketing company Savoir. Oh. Gilbert Group that Madeline Wheeler named director of marketing for Franco Firm. Yes! I'm here to prove that a master's in French does not go to waste. Oh, so her boss is the one who's supposed to go to France. Or maybe they're both going to go to France? Hmm, sounds like some this drama. This going to be amazing for you. Oh. I have been dreaming of moving to Paris forever. I mean, French men, they love older women, you know? Look at their president. He's young, he's hot. He married his school teacher. Is that true? Is that true? Did Macron marry his school teacher? <laughs> what? Hmm. Oh, that smells really weird. Does that smell weird to you? No, just floral. But... I gotta be sick. Sick. Oh my god, she's sick. Oh my god, does does Emily get to go to Paris because her boss is like terminally ill? <laughs> That's dark. Shit. Oh. Uh, I have some crazy news. Madeline's pregnant. Oh, she's she's pregnant. I'm an idiot. Of course she's pregnant. Oh, so who's the dad? Oh, well there are a few candidates. She was having a lot of going away sex. Hey. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm on board. They still need someone there, like American eyes and ears to help with the whole transition. So they asked me if I would take the job for a year. Ooh. I know it's crazy, but when we get a chance like this, it'll be an adventure. Unless I miss something, you don't speak French. She doesn't speak French? She's about to go to Paris to work in Paris and she doesn't speak French. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> Fake it till you make it. Oh my god, this is some this is some girl boss hashtag girl boss feminism here. This is some like I don't think faking it till you make it means like pretending to speak a language. God, this is crazy. Ooh, I love that bubble transition, very nautical. So I'm gonna assume that means that she is secretly a mermaid and she swam under the ocean to France rather than taking a plane. I'm glad they're adding a supernatural element to this show. <laughs> Emily Cooper? Yes. Hey, I'm Gilles Dufour. Ooh, hot French guy. Hot French guy. I knew they were gonna have a hot French guy right off the bat from oh. the rental agency. Hi, bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> I've got your keys. The way she said bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> oh, she's fucked. This uh, Lily Collins, it's coming in there tonight because you're fucked. You're so fucked. Apartment 501. It's on the fifth floor. This is the fourth floor. Uh, I just swept off these bags, five flights. This is the fifth floor. <sighs> in France, first the ground floor, then the first floor, then the second floor and so on. That's weird. Oh. You know what's weird, Emily? Coming to France when you don't speak French. The space is small, but the view. The space is small. That looks like a sizable one bedroom apartment to me. So, ça va, it's good? Oui. Ooh, that little hand on the back right there. <laughs> little hand on the back. Ooh, I see what you're doing, Netflix. Maybe you want to have a drink tonight. 
I have a boyfriend. In Paris? In Chicago. So you don't have a boyfriend in Paris. Does he just hit on every girl who like moves into the apartment complex? Because all they did was lug bags up the stairs. He's probably just like, oh, these American girls are all easy. <laughs> They're looking for a good time. Oh my god, she's gonna become an influencer. She's straight up gonna become an influencer. Oh, it's created by Darren Starr. He, I think he did Sex in the City. Now this is all making sense. This is Sex in the City in Paris in 2020. <laughs> or 2019 because COVID. You are? I'm sorry, I don't understand. I'm going to be working in this office. Je vais travailler dans ce bureau. Did she just use Google Translate to introduce herself at work? This is not gonna go well. <laughs> His face. Well, that's very unfortunate. Excuse me? That you don't speak French. It's a problem. Then if it's a problem, why did the company send her to France? Did she lie to her boss about being able to speak French? Why did they send her? But your experience is not with fashion and luxury brands. True. Most of my experience has been in promoting pharmaceuticals and geriatric care facilities. Wait, so she doesn't even have experience like doing the type of advertising that they do at this company? <laughs> Why did they send her? This is so strange. They make a diabetes drug that we marketed the heck out of. Sales went up 63%. So you create the disease, then you treat the disease, and then you market the treatments of the disease. <laughs> you create the disease, then you come up with the treatment, then you market the treatment of the disease. America in a nutshell. Da 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 Well, first, let me apologize for speaking English. I did Rosetta Stone on the plane, but it hasn't kicked in yet. It hasn't kicked in yet! What does that mean? Did she think she just like listen to it and absorb it and then like one day she'll just be able to speak the language? But the French are masters of social media. True. But Americans invented it, which is why- Amer Americans didn't invent it. A couple assholes in Silicon Valley invented it. Like, you, you, that doesn't give you authority, Emily, to be like, Americans invented it. Okay, so now these people are assholes too. They're just gonna bully her until she leaves? It's like, no, take it up with her boss who sent someone who doesn't speak French. Amazing, isn't it? The entire city looks like Ratatouille. It's beautiful. <laughs> ratatouille! Oh my god, yeah. The, the amount of Ratatouille references in the zeitgeist right now, like with that TikTok Ratatouille musical that's happening. I mean, I love it, but it's like, how did this rat dominate our, our cultural conscience? <laughs> I don't want to spend another day in the most romantic city in the world without you. I'll be there soon, okay? Sorry. Until I fuck the doorman guy <laughs> who helped me with my bags. We have another hot French guy. We're on, I'm, I'm gonna call this segment hot French guy watch. Okay, we're up to two right now. <laughs> it, you know, if this show didn't have a number of hot French men, I would be disappointed, you know? It's like, wh what else are we watching this for? Merci. Uh, I'm Emily. Emily Cooper, you're your new neighbor? American. We oui, from Chicago. Gabriel, French, from Normandy. Oh, I know that beach. Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> he just said he was from Normandy, and she's like referencing World War, World, not even World War II, but a World War II movie. <laughs> like, imagine if, Oh my god, if you like met someone from Vietnam and you were like, oh, apocalypse now? <laughs> like, oh god. What? D-Day? D-Day! Uh, okay. <laughs> ah, it's like, remember when your grandpa fucking died on a beach <laughs> avoiding the Nazis? Oh, look at me. I'm so skinny and I'm eating a pastry. <laughs> so I'm quirky. That is, that is cute. That's a cute gif. She's cute. Oh. She has to use the Google Translate to communicate with the one other person in her department. <laughs> this is a disaster. This, this whole show should be called 
American companies doing stupid shit. Like, oh, God, this... I feel bad for everybody. Th this is not a good situation. Do you want to have lunch? No, I'll have a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll have a cigarette! That's a good line. That's hilarious. Oh, that's so mean. Sorry, I don't speak French. Uh, American? Yes. But did you think that I was French? Honestly, no, I was being polite. You look American. Oh, this is going to be the best friend. I know it. This, this is going to be the best friend. I'm just going to make a new girlfriend. Yep. Are you from Indiana? Chicago. Oh. How could she tell? <laughs> like, she, Lily Collins does not have, like, a blatantly Midwestern accent at all. It's not like she was like, oop. Uh, long story. Very boring. The story and Indianapolis. But the girls, they look like you. Don't rag on Indianapolis. Indianapolis has got, um, they used to have the cults and they have the gymnastics organization that's really corrupt and they have... I think John Green lives there. Don't rag on Indianapolis. But my mother's from Korea. Another long, boring story. Do you love it? Season two, Emily in Korea. She's gonna go meet her friend. Chinese people are mean behind your back. French people, mean to your face. One question. Did a white guy write that line? <laughs> Did a white person in general write that line? Did Emily just Instagram a picture of other people's children? Oh, they're all getting lunch without her. Okay, I know it's bullshit that she got this job without speaking French, but they don't need to be outwardly mean. Jesus. Bonjour la Plouk. Bonjour la Plouk. <laughs> Bonjour la... Bonjour. What is la Plouk? Oh, um, it's a little term of endearment. Like no, it's fucking not. No, I don't know what that means, but it's definitely not a term of endearment. Mm. Search! <laughs> Search, this is the best fake Google I've ever- This, you know, this show does- It should be an award-winning show, and it should win an award for the best fake Google name ever. Search. <laughs> the heck? The heck? <laughs> oh my god! Uh, that, that's probably what I'd be called if I- Worked at a French company. Bonjour. Vous attendez quelqu'un? Hot French guy count number three. This is hot French guy watch. We got three down. I may be falling in love with myself. <laughs> I do. I do like that the show shows that like what you see on Instagram is bullshit. It's like she's lonely. She misses her boyfriend. She her co-workers are assholes she doesn't speak french and she's like i love it like yeah instagram is such bullshit i can uh yes <clears throat> you know <laughs> he's just vaping he's just vaping like a foot from her face this is weird to watch during covid times we are all a little afraid of you what afraid of mm. me how your ideas, they are more new. Maybe they are better. <laughs> They're afraid of her because her ideas are better? This is some hashtag girl boss bullshit. It's like, no, th her ideas aren't better. They don't even know what her ideas are because she doesn't speak their language. The Americans have the wrong balance. You live to work. We work to live. Preach. Preach American hustle culture needs to die. Maybe that's a little arrogant. You come to Paris and you don't speak French. That is arrogant. Somebody fuck Luke, new favorite character. Luke, love this guy. Okay, she's being honest. She's finally being honest. And oh, Doorman's gonna take that as an invitation though. He's gonna take that as an invitation. I miss you so much. I miss you too. Hello. Doug. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just jumped into it. Are we having cyber sex? If you insist. Hold on. Are they really gonna show this? Oh, I thought this was like a family show. Oh God, I'm so glad I didn't watch this with my parents. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna show 
much of that last scene because it's in a pro pro, but basically it shows them fully having like Skype sex or cyber sex, but she has like the covers over her the entire time because this isn't an X-rated show. And then <laughs> it cuts out in the middle of it. And then she plug after she's done, she plugs her vibrator into the socket on the wall and it shorts the power in the entire building. <laughs> That's fucking funny. That that scene was fucking funny. This that's the first like genuine laugh I got in this whole show. All right, well, I guess that's it. That was Emily in Paris. What did we learn from this show? I guess well, one, if you're going to set a show in Paris, you need you need hot Frenchmen. Just hot Frenchmen watch 2020. You need to just pile them in, just pile them in, have them secretly, like, behind the door, like, helping you with your bags, just, like, pile them on. And, and, and I think we also learned that, um, if you American, you can go place and have a job even if you don't speak language, because American can do whatever they want. <laughs> and also, that in France, a lot of people vape and smoke. That's cool. <laughs> Alright, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you want me to react to next. Ha have a good post-Thanksgiving time. Take some, take some Instagrams of yourself sitting at a cafe, even though you're lonely. <laughs> I swear, she's gonna become an influencer. That's gonna happen. Okay, goodbye.